What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Ooh, today we are getting grass up. So we did come through and we have mowed this entire field. I believe this is field number 19. Very cool. Oh, we still got a little bit extra room. Still got a little bit extra room. Let's go ahead and make this turn right here. So what we've done is we have given the cows a little bit of food, we've given our sheep some food, and we have put some into the bunker. I think we've got four loads in the bunker right now. Oop, looks like we are full. So our first stop is going to be over near our cows, because I want to give them some more food, because they are running, eh, not low per se, but they are running lower let's take a look at them Twenty-nine thousand out of a possible lot yeah quite a bit so you know what i want to hold off for now i want to see how much silage we could possibly get so some things have changed since the last time you guys saw me i've been told by the bank that we owe them 10 percent that's right 10 percent of our current loan in two days time so, not today, not tomorrow, but the next day. We owe them 10%. Well, can't be that bad, right? I mean, let's let's be real here. It's We haven't really taken out a whole lot of money, have we? Um, you, you know, I mean, you know, no, you know, 1.5 million. <laughs> no, not much at all. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem because well, we've got 142 now. You're probably thinking to yourself, wait, 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 wait. You you've got the crone pickup. You didn't have that before. What's going on? We have sold some stuff. Let's go into garage. I'm gonna show you what we have right now. So we have our John Deere 8RT. We have our Optum 300. We have our New Holland CR 1090. We have our Chrome Big M and the Massey Ferguson, of course, the Mahindra. That is it. We have completely gotten rid of the Leonard and Lynn track. So now we have the Jock Space, Condor, blah, 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 all the stuff that you knew that we had to begin with. So what's the deal? Well, I noticed very quickly we were not going to be able to do anything with bales more or less we could do stuff with bales I mean, I, not completely true there we could use you know hay bales of course we'd have to come through here and make them and then again we could use grass bales and we could make silage out of the bales yes we could well all of that would require the baler which we had and the wrapper which we had it would have also required us to come through here and make like <laughs> two to three trips on everything so we'd have to mow and then bale and then wrap and then we'd have to come through again and collect it all well that's just that's a whole lot of time for a whole lot of nothing so we have simplified the entire process it is literally mow grass pick up the grass take it feed it to the animals once they're full take the rest of it and use it for silage and then once our silage is full, which should be, what, about a day or two? I'm just going to take that long to get this field done. That's why. <laughs> once we get that over and done with and set, then we will be good and we can start feeding our cows silage. Now, the great thing about feeding them silage is we can give them more food. We can give them better food. I say more food. That's not accurate. We can't give them more food. <laughs> We give them the same amount of food we would be giving them, but it will be full. And so that's why I'm saying, you know, this may hold, what, 56,500 liters of grass. And yes, we could feed that to them, but I think that it's more important. Should we start doing every other row? I feel like we should start doing every other row. Uh, I think it's more important to give them just enough food for about a day and then come back through and start giving them silage. Their productivity is going to be way more through the roof, especially right now. Productivity is down at 39%. Now, we are going to get our next animal in 
Uh, very, very, very soon, actually. Yeah, 45 minutes from now in game, we will be getting another cow. So we'll have 21 cows. Of course, we're down here. It's going to be like two days before we get our next sheep. This is what it is. I went so long without feeding the sheep. I'm so sorry, sheep. So with that all out of the way, big things have happened. And we have got to make some money in the next two days. Again, after selling everything, we've got 142000 left. So we sold all that stuff and only had to buy this. So I was like, well, let's go with a big one, right? So that's that. Right now we need eight-ish thousand dollars to keep our farm. That is right. So the problem is with the way the loan is set up, it is a lien against our farm. Well, if we can't afford to pay, then we can't afford to stay. So here's how that would work. If we miss a payment, so every two days, we are gonna to have to make a payment. So once the payment is made, it will say, quote unquote, three days. Well, that means we're gonna to have to pay, is that Thursday, I think it is? Today's Tuesday at two, Wednesday at one. Yep, so two episodes from now, we're gonna to have to pay. Oh, we are full. Fills up pretty quick, which is nice. But still, nonetheless, if we lose our farm, we will lose the farm and we'll leave, we will lose everything with the exception of our personal vehicle, which happens to be the Mahindra Retriever. We will lose everything. All the animals, everything we've saved, the whole farm, we will lose it and not have it anymore. Well, the great thing about that is we'll be debt free because that's kind of that's where our lo our lien is so hopefully that doesn't happen hopefully we don't lose the farm hopefully we keep everything and it's all nice but in the meantime we've got a lot going on we've got a lot of this to go a whole lot of this to go like i said this is going to be silage that's going to be nice Oh, yeah. I haven't done silage yet in uh, Farming Simulator 19. Funny enough, I've, of course, done silage bells and that kind of thing, but never just silage. Never done that. So we're going to do that. Eh, probably won't be today, but we're going to work on it. Here we go. Almost done here. And we've added a little days till payment thing right there on the left bottom of the screen. Days till payment. Two, that is a 150 thousand dollar payment that we have to make we've got 142,000 right now like i said we've got a little bit more well i say grass really this is chaff that's exactly what we're using it for we've got 34,000 liters right here we're gonna drop this off right by the bunker and we've picked up something that might help us a little bit let's bring it in i went and picked up a silage roller Hopefully that's going to help us with compaction and get it done just a little bit faster because I know it's going to take forever. We are also going to be using the 8RT. I figured out of all the tractors that we have, this being the, well, we only have two tractors now, don't we? Uh, this being the middle one, I'm thinking maybe that's going to be the most helpful for us. So let's get this unloaded here. <laughs> Looks like a Oh, that is not going to be fun to level out. That is not going to be fun at all to level out. This ought to be good. Oh, man. There we go. Tis empty. Let's go and bring this to the side and drop it off. Right there. All right, Silage. What you got for me? What you got? I wonder if we can even get up there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Can we even get up there? Ah, uh, better find out. Here we go. Yeah, get some. Oh man, we're stuck, aren't we? <clears throat> oh no, we are legit stuck, huh? Oh, that's not good at all. How about we roll from the back like this? Maybe we can be able to level out a nice little way to get up there. Yes. 
that's going to do it for us. So I think it's roll back and forth nice and easy. Of course, we do have a telehandler. And yes, that would help us a little bit in the long run. We get it up here, but I just don't think that's going to help us much. So we're going to uh, hopefully not make... Oh, come on. Really? Really? Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Oh. Well, we're going to get ourselves unstuck. And then we're going to continue. We are almost at 100%, 96%, 97%. You know what? This has been a great vehicle to have in here. Maybe wide tracks would have made it a little bit easier, but I don't think so. And with this roller on the back, man, this roller is doing a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. We should be hitting 100% anytime. I'm going to go ahead and drive off. Almost cocky like, yeah, there we go. 100%. Let's get everything out first before we do anything. God, I love that tractor. Oh, I love it. Now, what we could do is we can blanket the silo. Bam! Silo was blanketed, and we are at 1% fermentation. I think it takes about a day. If that's the case, we'll be opening this about this time tomorrow. If not, well, we'll get there. <laughs> We're on top of the build. God, I love it. So all these little bits included that I was worried we were going to have problems with every little piece of that. All good. All good indeed. So now that we've done that, we've got the tractor, we've got this. I think now it is time to focus our attention on trying to make some more money. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to take a look at some other crops that we have. See what we can do about, oh, come on, easy, easy does it. There we go, right in there. It's all right where I want you. Bam. We're going to take a look at some of the crops that we have right now, and we are going to make a decision on what to sell, what we can, what we should sell, all that good stuff. Let's put this away, straight in front. There it is. Boom. Got this. I don't really think we need to do anything with this right now. Eh. The cows need cleaning out. How are you guys? A eh, little bit of silage. It's hilarious. So the cows, you know, you put, you know, what is this? Uh, grass in here. So we fed them grass and grass only. I think it's hilarious that they spit out silage. <laughs> and there is poo. Very, very meh. Yeah, very meh indeed. So where is the rest of Here's this. Let's get this put away as well. We did good over here. One thing we will have to do is we have to get over here and fertilize. That's not going to be a huge problem. Uh, I've noticed that it's a lot easier to fertilize the first state and the last state. I don't know what's going on with that. There's a state in the middle that it just never wants to work for me for some reason. If it's the same with you, let me know down in the comment section below. If not, maybe it's just a problem I'm having. Oh, yes, and somebody was asking me, hey, where's your harvester? Harvester is right here. These two buildings at the top, there she is, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's jump in because there's one more bump over. There we go. One thing, let's go ahead and drop silage roller in the back. Let's jump in, and I want to return that because we did lease it. And there we go. Very good, very good. Now, where are the crops that we can, should, need to blank, 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 sell? Mark it up. 
What do we got? So we've got some wheat. Good price for wheat right now. We've got some oats. Eh, decent price for oats right now. We've got some canola and a great price for canola. And sunflowers. Good price for sunflowers as well. I think we can sell a few things. So let's go load up first and foremost with canola. Or no, sorry, oats. Yeah, let's go load up with oats. We're heading to Rainbow Ridge stores. Let's see what we're going to get. What do we have right there? $18,532 for the oats that we had. Very good, very good. I'm loving that. What's next? Canola. We should get some good prices for canola. And canola, we're going to be heading to Glendale Green Stores. Just Glendale Stores. Yeah, you know what it is. Canola cell is rocking. Oh, we're making money, baby. 29,367 bucks. Even better. Even better. That's what I'm talking about. How's about And I'm we're on a roll right now. We're on a roll. What do we got next? Sunflowers. You getting sold. Sunflowers, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh yeah. Two hundred and six thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Keep rocking, baby. Who's next? Who's next? Corn, get it out of here. And last but not least, corn. 22 grain. Very, very cool. So we're at 229,000 right now. We know that in two days we're going to have to pay 150,000. So we're pretty well off. We are way higher than we need to be right now. We're almost $80,000 plus which is fantastic. That means that that kind of opens some possibilities up for us a little bit. So we know there's, again, 150,000 gonna be gone, 80,000 in the bank as of right now. Well, should we spend? Should we keep? Should we invest? I don't know what we should do. There's just, there's so many things, so many possibilities. Oop. Since we're going through here, we might as well Try our hand at a little basketball. Now I know that I can't hit a three for nothing, so we're gonna show three point. Swoosh, baby. You don't want none of this? You don't want none of this? I challenge you, let's go. <laughs> uh, if only that you could play basketball multiplayer. They take all the balls away. So you can't use it. I know me and Golf Cart Jockey loved. We had a whole basketball game from Farm Sim 17 on South Mountain Creamery. Hilarious. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, just type in South Mountain Creamery DJ Goham basketball. And that should come up. Or type in, you know, DJ Goham, I believe I can fly. That should work. I'll try and link it as well. <laughs> oh, it was a blast. We had so much fun. So we're going to drop this off here. Nice and easy. And make our way around. Just kind of... Oh, wow. Did I miss that? Yeah, we missed it. Yeah. We're going to make our way around and just kind of look at everything. Make sure that everything is good. Make sure that there's nothing that we need to do. So that maybe, just maybe, we can get us some shut-eye. It is time to clean up and clean out. Now the great thing is, as long as these cows keep putting down silage, they'll have just a little bit in there to eat, which means our productivity is going to go up at least until tomorrow when we can feed them silage. So 48 liters, but, or 47 rather, but that is going to take our productivity and raise it, which is awesome awesome great all that good stuff now we do have to muck out our own animals here on marble manor so i say our own animals that's ah, just the cows quit eating your poop you are the epitome of weird give me quick this is my poop you can't have it come on, come on get out of here <laughs> We got 444 liters of, of manure, of course we do. So there's a couple things that we can do with this manure. We could sell it, we could use it as fertilizer, 
there are many, many different ways to use it, really. So, what are ways that you guys like to use manure? Do you use it for anything? Do you just pitch it? How do you do? How do you do it? Let's go ahead and take this, close this, because there's no point for that to be open. And let's open that. And we are going to have to... Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. We just killed a cow. Crap. Oh, good. Oh, good. Nobody look. Nobody look. And we have a nice place here to dump out the manure, which is good. Dump it on the floor. Nice. So only one more... Only one more set of animals to clean up, and those are the sheep. Now, I am going to kind of maneuver our way through and around. So let's close that. Get out of my way. And let's open that up. Hop back in here. Ooh, we're going to get a cheese grater. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Let's close the gate. There's so many gates to open and close. Eventually, I'm just going to start leaving them all open. But not today. So here's the sheep. A little bit of food on the ground. Nothing too crazy. This is easy. Um... <laughs> Can I please have it? There we go. I don't know what was up with that, but we have it now. So there's that. And then all we got to do is dump it back in. And they should be good. There we go. So that is going to be where we call it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. If you got any ideas, let me know. I am contemplating starting a new series just for how to farm, beginner, farming simulator, that kind of thing. Help you guys out a little bit. I had a lot of questions yesterday asking me about the animals, about the silage, and it seemed like the animal video that I posted helped a lot of people, and I'm glad that it did. So maybe we can reach out for a new series and help you guys out even more. But until then, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.